These fortress-like huts stretch back centuries. They belong to the Batamariba of Tamburma Valley, the world's first cultural landscape to be declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site. <laughs> These tata, as they're called, were built in the late 17th century to ward off dangerous animals and invaders. The village is still steeped in the animist tradition. Voodoo charms adorn the entrances, offering protection. David Neo is the son of the village chief. He's lived here all his life, only venturing to the nearest town to sell the goods they grow. This village has kept its age-old traditions, especially the houses whose style goes back to our ancestors and is something we're maintaining. We can never leave these houses because it's where we hold all our initiation ceremonies for the young boys and girls, and our voodoo charms cannot be moved from here. One of the things that strikes you here is the tranquility of the place. About an hour's drive away is Togo's economic capital, and yet here, the Bathamariba have managed to maintain a centuries-old way of life. We grow everything that we need here, so I'm able to feed my family. I'm the mason here. I built the house behind me when I got married. I learned by watching my father. It's difficult to do because it needs to be completely upright. A tata takes on average three months to build. Deforestation in the surrounding area means finding the building materials needed is becoming more difficult, and Antoine worries the next generation may not be so keen to continue the tradition. Young people nowadays don't want to go and find the wood needed to build the tata. I built all these homes, but there are others who don't want to continue our traditions. Before they started building huts, though, the Batamariba sought refuge inside what is now a group of sacred baobabs. This baobab was a home for us before we began to build houses. This area was a forest with dangerous animals and enemies. Our grandparents used to hide inside. You can climb right up to the window where the village chief would have hidden and fired arrows at any invaders. The attention from UNESCO has helped bring in an income for the villagers and schools have been set up nearby. Its status as a World Heritage Site means that while some of the Batamariba's future generation may opt for life in bigger towns and cities, Tamburma Valley remains protected, offering a glimpse into an ancient way of life in a modern world. Clementine Logan, CCTV, Tamburma Valley, Togo.